Welcome to Trojan TV. I'm Olivia. And I'm Rachel. Did you know that the DMC and the newspaper classes work together to make an awesome website for EMS? Yeah, it's called The Link. You can visit the website by going to the link onlineems.net. You can find all the latest EMS, Trojan news, take weekly polls, and keep up to date on upcoming events and sports. And the site is mobile friendly, and you can bookmark it on your netbooks. Check it out now at the link onlineems.net. We have a lot of new announcements today, so let's get started. EMS Talent Show auditions begin the week of February 15th. All auditions are held in Mrs. Zabel's Choir Room, room 516, during resource. Sign-up sheets for auditions will be in the cafeteria the week of February 8th. Students must sign up to audition and may not just drop in during audition time. The Talent Show evening performance for family and friends will be Wednesday, March 9th, in the cafeteria. The all-school performance will be held in the gym on Thursday, March 10th from 1.30 to 2.30. Orientation and class information nights are coming up soon. Tuesday is the 5th and the 6th orientation night from 5.30 to 7.30, and the 6th and 7th orientation is slated for February 4th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. To learn more about choosing courses for next year, Cammie and Griffin caught up with Ms. Lacko and Mr. Mead. It's the time of the year to start thinking about picking electives, so we caught up with Ms. Lacko and Mr. Mead for some tips about choosing courses. I think the number one factor that students should consider when picking electives is just what they enjoy. A lot of times when I uh, am talking to students about choosing electives, um, their number one goal is to choose the classes that their friends are in. Um, but really, it's so important, uh, middle school and high school is a great opportunity to take classes that you're interested in learning more about and seeing you know, what you could possibly go into in the future. One of the things that I really look carefully at is, first of all, what do you enjoy? In Michigan, there's a certain number of classes you have to take. You have to take math, you have to take science, things like that. But what kinds of things beyond the core curriculum do you really enjoy doing? And also think about what you'd like to do after high school. Are you looking at college or a vocational program? What kind of career do you want? Um, electives can really help guide you. <laughs> there are a lot of elective options and some of them offer high school credit. Our world lang languages are a great opportunity for students because it gives them uh, a chance to possibly earn high school credit while they're in middle school. Um, so depending on where students at and what a student's interested in and what they're ready for, I would always encourage students to take a world language um, or to take any class that they're interested in pursuing. I mean, the same could be said about choir um, or about an art class. Eighth graders transitioning into high school need to consider many things before choosing courses. The most important thing that eighth graders can do to prepare for the high school is to really work on their study skills down here in the middle school. Make sure you're passing all of your classes, getting all of your homework turned in, and just really looking for opportunities to participate in the, in the programs that we have here. Usually at Central High School there's even more opportunities, but if you're not doing a good job with what you've got at middle school, high school will be more challenging. Mr. Mead is preparing activities for incoming freshmen to help with the transition. Um, coming up this spring, I'm working with Mrs. Skodak, who's a new freshman principal, and we're working to make a field trip for all of our eighth graders to go to Central High School as well as the Career Tech Center. Um, we'll be introducing them to some high school students who will act as their mentors to help make it just a really seamless transition and kind of incorporate them into the Traverse City Central High School community. Reporting for Trojan TV, this is Griffin and Cammie. Thanks guys. Central High School orientation for incoming freshmen is scheduled for February 16th from 7 to 9 p.m. in the auditorium. We are starting a new Trojan TV series called Teacher Talk with Mr. Adair on his thoughts about art. I feel art is inspiring because you know you always can improve and there's no right way to create art. I love video animation or any three-dimensional art. It's my favorite. I think it's the freedom and the creativity. I like to connect art with things that the kids are into and that makes it really easy to teach. I love all three-dimensional art, but I love all sorts of art. Just to be inspired to create, have a great time, learn new things and try them out and improve on your work. There are still spots available for the 2016 8th grade Washington DC field trip. Sign up with a $99 non-refundable deposit. If you're interested, see Mrs. Mackey for an information packet or sign up online at worldstrides.com slash sign up. Footloose the Musical is showing now at Central High School. 
It runs through February 7th. If you are interested, check out Central High School's homepage. Yearbook pre-sales have ended. Pre-ordered yearbooks will be distributed to students on Thursday, June 2nd during all lunches. To see if you pre-ordered a book, go to the link online ems.net to the yearbook tab. Sales for additional books which are limited, only 30 books per grade, will be sold during lunch on Friday, June 3rd for $38. If books remain, students may purchase them from room 513 before and after school thereafter. Please make checks payable to TCAPS. Congratulations to Colin Shepard, who won the school geography bee. Colin must pass an online test to qualify for the state level competition. Be sure to come to the East Middle School's movie night tonight from 7 to 9. This event is for all grades and the movie is free, but you are welcome to bring money for snacks. The film is Remember the Titans. Now it's time for our Trojan TV feature of the week about EMS student Lila Miller. Lila Miller wakes up every day with odds against her. Odds most kids don't have to face. Imagine not being able to look at yourself in the mirror, be able to watch your favorite TV show, or even know what your own mother's face looks like. Lila Miller sees the world in a very different way. Lila has been blind since birth due to retinopathy of prematurity, which is when blood vessels in the retina break and bleed in premature babies, causing scarring. Um, we have trained her. We came in uh, to the school in August before school started and started training her on how to get from the bus down to the classroom. So although we have somebody in the background watching to make sure she's okay, they don't, she doesn't know that we're there. She can actually go from the bus all the way down to this classroom without any help, so she is independent in that. One of the ways Lila Miller can learn best is through Braille. That's the line and bench key. No, that's the backspace key. That's the line and bench key. And that's the embossing head. And V, and that's the lever. Student interaction is a great addition for Lila, says Amy Dunscombe. Well, it's important that students interact with Lila, so if you're interested in getting to know her, come up and introduce yourself, tell her who you are, um, what your name is, what grade you're in, and probably the next time you talk to her, she will know who you are. Lynn Newland, a consultant for the visually impaired, says there are a lot of supports for students like Lila at EMS. Well, every day I work with Lila in math and reading, and so we just do the same type of math that the other students are doing, but in a little bit different way. We use a lot of tactile things. Uh, for example, we're doing some fraction stuff, and so everything you can feel. And um, we've got a math window with magnets with Braille on there that's a little easier to manipulate. And then we go on to do some reading and writing. We do some cooking activities and other things that are just going to help her do a lot better when she is living on her own. Newland says blindness is challenging, but it isn't defining. Um, I think the most important thing is that they are just like any other student. Um, they have their ups and downs and their own, you know, individual personalities. They just do things a little bit differently, um, but they can do the same types of things that anybody else can do. This has been Ariane Willow with Trojan TV. That concludes this episode of Trojan TV. You can follow Trojan TV and the DMC on Instagram and Facebook. And don't forget to check out TTV and Trojan News on our new site, The Link. Have a great weekend, Trojans. Bye. Bye. This program was brought to you by Bell Tire. Nobody comes close, nobody's closer.